when Allah wants you to get something, to achieve something or to give you something, nobody can stop it. Even if the whole world is trying to block you from achieving something, they won't be able to do it. If the whole nation gets together to benefit you, they won't be able to benefit you except with that which Allah has written for you. And the opposite is also in the same hadith. The Prophet Muhammad is telling us that if the entire ummah, the whole nation gets together to harm you, they will never be able to inflict any harm upon you unless Allah has written it against you. If Allah written it against you, you need to know nothing is going to stop it. May Allah protect us all. Look at this man, young baby, born, Firon, looking, searching his man were everywhere. They were spies all over. They didn't hear, they didn't witness, they didn't see. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspired his mother to do something unique. To put him into a little casket or a basket or to put him or literally to cast him into the Nile, into the river, cast him into the river. How can I do that? Don't worry. The one who made will look after him. Subhanallah. The one who made will look after him. Allah says, Inspiration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Take him and place him in the water, in the river. Allah will return him to you. Allah says, We will return him to you. Subhanallah. And will we make him from among us those who are sent? We will make him a messenger. He is going to have something big. Subhanallah. And what happened? Allah did not bless the Pharaoh with children. They were looking for this male child. And the wife, as she was walking, she notices this little casket. And she picks up this baby. And this baby was absolutely gorgeous, absolutely innocent, totally. And cut a long story. They looked after Musa alayhi salatu wasalam until he grew quite old. He was not suckling from anyone because that was the plan of Allah and they were desperate to get him to suckle because he needed to survive until Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Amazingly, Allah returned the baby as a baby, as an infant to the mother. He would be brought in the highest form of luxury. He would be brought to the mother. The mother would suckle, spend some time, etc, etc, look after him breastfeed him whatever else and send him back and he circle from no one else this is the power of Allah never underestimate the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he wants to give you he will give you pray to him pray hard pray with conviction when the time is right what you want will come to you remember that if it is good for you and if it is meant for you it's coming in your direction and if it is not no matter what it won't. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we returned him to his mother in order for her eyes to be cooled and for that and for her not to be saddened. She was a good woman. She was close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She was chosen to be the mother of messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine what qualities he had. I always tell the sisters and even the brothers that if you want a child who is going to be someone serving the deen, Ask yourself, who am I to start with? Who am I to start with if I am a person who wants to follow the trends of today? And I have my little heels, my makeup, my mini skirts, and I am walking around with a little handbag, throwing things behind my back like this. Do you want a child who is going to really be some form of, you know, service to the deen? The same applies to the brothers. Every night you in the club, you know, jumping, dancing and drinking and everything else and womanizing and all of those natures. You know, that type of thing. And then you say, oh Allah, make my child spreading the deen. You know, Allah can do it, but you need to repent. You need to turn back. It's never too late. My brothers and sisters, we turn to Allah. We turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not too late. Remember, when you follow your faith, considering it an honor to follow your faith, that is when you have achieved something. But when you follow your faith, considering it a burden, yes, you may be following. But you will not achieve the true benefit of entire package. People fulfill salah. When you fulfill salah, you lazy to do it. You are just doing it because, yeah, you know what? I am scared. I don't want to be punished. Okay, fair enough. Your salah may be done. But if you want to achieve the broader benefit of that beautiful salah, 
do it as an owner. Oh Allah, I love you. I'm going to fulfill the salah because I want to do it for your sake. You have given me so much, Ya Allah. When you lose a loved one through death, it's not the end of the path. By the will of Allah, you will meet them again. Very soon, a matter of time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that to us. And we will meet them in a better place, not in a worse place. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us.